and in this video we're going to learn how to change the colors of the cellular automata game. Oh yeah! So the simplest thing we can do to this game is to change the color of the cellular entity. It's also one of the most visible things we can do. If I go off to the game site, you see the game is running. If I just hit refresh, it starts again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of this entity. If I inspect this and look at the code, go into sources, have a look at the code here. If I scan through the code, I'll be able to see an HTML color in here. Let me just do a control F hash. There it is. So we've got a world object, which is a class of object, and we've got a color, an entity color in here. Now this is a hex value that could take any of the values from the normal HTML color codes. So I could pick a color here. If I could set that to 3FA21B, I'd get this nice green color instead of the red. So let's do that. A couple of ways of doing this. I'm gonna do this first by setting a breakpoint. I'm gonna do this by debugging the code. So I've just clicked on this to set a breakpoint. Then I'm going to refresh the screen. You can see that the application has stopped because it's hit that line of code. What I'm going to do is I'm going to step over that line of code. Then in the console, if the console is not up, I can switch it on and off by using the escape key. I'm just going to type this dot entity color, and then I'm going to copy and paste this value from the HTML color codes. I could pick any value I want. I'm going to pick this one that we chose there. Make sure there's no spaces. Hit return. Then I'm going to resume the script execution and have a look at the game. And it's green now. So I can set this to any color that I want during that debug process. Now, because the game is running, what I really want to do is change it when it is running. So I can't do that in the object. What I need to do is figure out where this object is instantiated. So if I do control F and do new world, then I can see there's a world variable. So instead of doing this dot entity color, if I do world dot entity color and choose one of the other codes, let's choose this nice blue. And let's change it to that blue. So I can now at any point change the color of the entity just by adjusting that to any of the HTML color codes. Nice and easy hack for this simple cellular automata game.